Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Strat Gamer here, calling you the new Anno 1800 episode. And today we're going to look at some items. Indeed, this is a mod um, also from toward the end of August, just before the new DLC. And this mod uh, introduces 11 new legendary items. If you know my channel, if you know about um, some of my videos, you probably know that I, I do like <laughs> items, like most min maxers, I do think items can really change the way we do things and really, you know, bring great uh, sort of, it's not shortcuts to make things easier, it's, you know, to do it differently than the way it's supposed to be. That's what it interests me, to be honest. Um, and these 11 uh, legendary items are not completely OP, because that's not also interesting, but they, they sort of 11 items focusing on buildings that don't really have great legendary items uh, as of now, and therefore is sort of uh, closing a gap that um, that the author, uh, Madman HS, were, was seeing. So really interesting to go into that. We're going to look um, with quickly at those 11s. I'm going to show you what how that can help um because yeah to and to see which one i would really use and and which was maybe not so the first one is princess sibylla kamsi that you can see here for the glass makers because indeed there's not that many things for the glass makers you can also search it like this uh you know if you press glass makers you can see all the items and you see that it's basically only the items which work for everything there's no items that's very specific to the glass makers. And so usually, you know, for glass makers, you probably want to do a, a no workforce with the extremely loud bell, terrace and printing press, and, you know, probably having the palace on plus 50% the productivity for your electricity. Now this one, brings plus 50%, also takes out the riots, and you get extra windows. I would say out of those 11s, this is probably not the most interesting to me. It is a good one when you're building your empire, you're getting those windows for free, you're getting pretty good productivity, but actually, you know, it does, I wouldn't really change, I would still keep those three here because um, it's not bringing me productivity and workforce for example which is the case with ferras and also the printing press so that was the, the first one uh, and of course don't hesitate to share in the comments below what you think if you like this item if you would definitely use it um, if you disagree with some of the things i'm saying i'd, I'd love to hear about it now let's move to the second one which is Otto, this one, you can see the, the face is definitely a new one, you probably haven't seen it before. And this is for the motor assembly line, another uh, line that doesn't really have a lot of items at this moment. And this one definitely is interesting. Uh, plus 50% productivity, minus 15% workforce, replaced steel by iron, right? So, you won't need the coal, you won't need the furnaces. And on top of that, steam garage is one out of 12. That's pretty good. And that's definitely a good one. If we go to motor assembly line. Oh, that's strange. And there should definitely be more. Oh no, I put steam motor, sorry. Yeah, okay, that's better. <laughs> So there's definitely more, as you can see, there's once again, not that many actually that impact, um, you know, them specifically. There are a few of the new ones like these ones or these ones, um, also the bechamel. So definitely I would go for the bechamel first, but as a second item, this one is probably quite a good one. If you look at, at everything, I mean, there's also this one that you may know you may want now um 
because this is 60 plus and minus 50. This one is 80 and minus 80, right? So if I, I take this one minus 80 plus this one minus 25, I, I am at 100% already. Um, then maybe potentially this one or that one. I mean, it's 55 and this is uh, 60. So probably that's, uh, that's definitely one I would use uh, definitely on, on that one. Um, and I haven't said it uh, earlier, but as you can see here, you know, for most of, for all of those items, you have a chance to get them on expeditions, quests, visitors, but also in the research institute. So you'll probably just go for the research institute. So that was the second one, Otto Nicholas. And let's move to the third one, which is Edison. Thomas Edison for the filament factory. Um, as a bit of the, I mean, the, the historical fact there, you will produce, you will have productivity plus 50 and also light bulb on top, one uh, out of five. That's also pretty good. Let's look at uh, filament because th this is, you know, you're probably making filaments because you want light bulbs. Uh, um, that's why I'm saying that that's pretty aligned. So if we go to the filament, factory and once again as a, i mean i'm repeating a bit myself here i'm sorry but that's why he created those height those items those legendary items because we're talking about some of the factories and production buildings where there's basically none you know, all those ones are of the items that affect all production buildings right like ferrous and the extremely loud bell in this one once again i would probably use those three by default so now having this one is pretty interesting. Um, if I want to stay in, um, let's say, no workforce, I will probably have to use, uh, I mean, I will have to use, I have two choices. Either I use the um, minus 50 workforce policy in, in the palace, and then I can definitely use that one, this one, and Ferras. Or if I don't use that, and I want to still use the 50% from electricity, then I will have to use Human Incarnate and Extremely Loud Bell with this one. But that's definitely worth it, I think, with the one, plus, one out of five and 50% workforce. We, we probably would need to do the math a bit, but it, it, it seems worth it to me at first glance. Now the next one is Dr. Morpheus. Oh, maybe it's not written exactly like that. Sorry about that. Or is it? I think maybe there's a dot, I guess. Here he is for the goldsmiths. To be honest, in most of the min maxers out there, you're not gonna see a lot of goldsmiths on the map because you're already producing tons of gold from other stuff. You also usually don't need that much gold. But anyway, this is for the goldsmiths. You can see quite amazing, actually, because 50% productivity. Also, you don't use coal anymore. You're going to use wood, which to be honest, can seem amazing, but may not be exactly that amazing if you're a min maxer, because you can get a lot of coal from, I mean, there's tons of mines on the map. Now that we can use the research institute to change them from, you know, um, whatever you want to call. Plus also the items on the shark or the clean are pretty good. So you can fit a lot in a very small, small space. Space. This is wood actually does take some space. I mean, uh, you can produce quite a bit, but it does take some space. But then lastly, also producing jewelry on top. But yeah, that's, that's definitely a pretty good one. The next one is Lud... Mila Burberry and she is for the cotton mill, felt producer, advanced cotton mill, sales maker and sell. Um, so that's definitely a good one in terms of uh, it can be used for many items uh, or many buildings or sorry and what's good about that is you can have one trade union with different buildings in that trade union right. The really good thing is the extra good on felt and fur coats, um, that's definitely worth a lot. Yeah. 
Now if if you look at your cotton meal it's once again all of those items so you're not producing any of those things extra um we'll probably once again yeah it's i'm not sure actually which one i would use but yeah and it depends if if i want a no popular a no work for silent or not um but as again as always you know it's a combination of those two this one that one Probably. And there's also those those uh, two here. In particular, this one is 50 and minus 25. They're quite interesting. Um, but yeah, a combination of these ones together. Then the next one is Conrad. And of course, I will post in the description below the link to that um, to that mod if you want to download it. This one is for furnaces and brass military. Provide electricity, no explosion, some productivity, and on top of that, some steel beans. So probably not something you'll use completely end game because you already have tons of production. You probably have electricity all over your island with your um, departments. But yeah, that's definitely a good one earlier in the game. Moving on is auto another auto but this one is auto nicholas oh no wait no we, we already looked at auto nicholas and uh, that's my bad so the next one is ruin onko yeah and this one is for your sugar refinery. Ah, that's interesting. Oh, that is powerful. 50% productivity and minus 15% workforce, rum and chocolate. And one out of three for chocolate. That's, I mean, this one is almost OP, honestly. Because um, you're in the sugar refinery, so that's pretty easy, you know, to, to make. You just need sugar part, sugar, you know, from, from the sugar cane. Um, and you're going to produce all of this. On top of that, you have those two elements. So, you know, you just need to add, for example, an extremely loud bell and you're already at zero workforce. So then you can add um, without any problem your ferrous, for example. So, yeah, or actually, you probably want those two because um, that will give you minus 10 and minus 50, or 40. So you add minus 100 and in productivity 50 plus 25. Yeah, so that's that's definitely uh, a good one here. I yeah, I would use that one for sure. <laughs> then I'll wait uh no bear. She is for the dynamite factory. Once again, maybe one of those where you probably don't need that many. I mean dynamite is mostly for your advanced weapons. Do you really need a lot of advanced weapons at the end of the game? You can also buy it from pirates, those type of things. But if you do need it, and that's a powerful one, 50% productivity, minus 15% workforce, and also here, instead of salpage, which, you know, there's very, very few buildings that need it, so you probably not, you don't want to produce it, it's just coal. And on top of that, you're producing advanced weapon, one out of three, and as I said, you're probably making the dynamite to make advanced weapons. So it just means you're gonna need less of it. So it's all like definitely a great one. And we're almost there, but just still a few very interesting ones. First one is Roberta for animal farms. So there are some uh, items already for animal farms, but this one is powerful. Because let's actually look at animal farms. We're gonna see, uh, you know, there's there is one here, which gives you productivity, but also increases the number of modules. And if you're familiar with Anno and a bit of min maxing, you know that increasing modules is the worst thing you can do, because if you get to something like three four hundred productivity, increasing modules um, really 
isn't worth it at all uh, because you you know you're, you're getting 400 percent for more space versus if you can get just a bit less than 400 percent like let's say 300 percent but for less space then you can have 300 percent again which is like 600 percent basically instead of 400 so just with basic mass you know increasing modules is terrible versus this one decreases module so that's amazing and on top of that gives you productivity and alpaca wool and goose feather and i'm not saying you probably desperately need alpaca wool and goose feather but still this is a great great one and, you know if we look at the the top there was different this one is definitely um in in the top and then lastly, we have your uh, Ness Baker. And it's for the malt house and flour mill. So linked to your uh, grain, basically, either for the beer or for the bread, also for the biscuits now, actually. And you can see something very interesting is as an extra good, you're getting grain. So which means you're gonna need less grains. It's a bit like mocha um, the for the coffee roasters. You know, you need less coffee beans here, you need less grains. So that, that is really powerful because it also means in, in this island, uh, you, you are gonna have more space. On top of that also chocolate, that's pretty good given the space that chocolate takes and how many you need for investors, especially skyscrapers. And then the 50% productivity. Um, yeah, that's that's a good one. Flour meal. There are couples, particularly this one is pretty strong uh, with 40% productivity and 50% workforce. So yeah, it probably is something like using this one, the bell and that one, if you have three items only. Um, celebrate your leadership. If you're four, you're probably adding a Ferras on top. So yeah, the, ladies and gentlemen, this was mm, the 11 new legendary items that are provided by this new mod. Um, as once again, I will post the mod in the description below if you want to try it. Really easy. As always, just download it, put it in your mod folder use uh, your mod loader and and it, it's it's there and as i said you can get them in the research institute so you can easily start uh, producing them and, and using them if you're interested um, if you like this video don't hesitate to press the like button don't hesitate to also tell me in the comments which other mods you want me to look at i have a list that i'm going through there's a number that are really interesting that uh, are quite recent um, but yeah, it's always great to, to hear from you which one you want me to look at. And um, don't hesitate to also share any other thoughts, to press the like button, to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope to see you next time.